Hello, in front of me I have Honor 400 Pro and the Honor 400 and in this video we're gonna perform the benchmark test on those devices. Okay, uh, so for this test I'm gonna be using the uh, Geekbench 6 uh, and also the 3 Mark apps. Mm. Maybe let's begin with the Geekbench 6. Mm. In that app we're gonna perform the CPU and also the GPU benchmark. Uh, now you can see some information about those uh, devices. Uh, the Honor uh, 400 Pro is on the left side, the Honor 400 is on the right side. Mm. Also now uh, on the screen you can see some information about the operating system. Uh, about the uh, CPU, as you can see, it's the same CPU actually. And you can also see the clusters uh, and the uh, ports. So now let's simply uh, run the test and then we're gonna also perform the GPU benchmark. So let's start the test. Uh, now it's gonna take a while, so I'll see you once it's done and when, when we will have our results. Okay, so we have our results uh, on both of our devices. So uh, when it comes to a single core score, uh, the difference is around uh, on level of 1000 points into the advantage into the uh, pro version. You can see that the single core score is uh, almost 2100 on the pro mm, and uh, 1100 uh, and 46 on the, on the normal version, let's say. Uh, and uh, the same thing is when it comes to the multi-core, uh, almost twice uh, X uh, points done on the Pro than on the normal uh, version. So uh, 6300 in comparison into the 3100. So again, the Pro is on the winning position. And uh, now we can scroll down into the bottom. And here we can see some system information about those uh, devices. You can uh, take a look uh, on your own below. We can also see the CPU uh, information on both of the uh, devices. You can take a look to see how it is. looks like. Below we have the memo information. You can see that uh, the Pro has uh, more gigabytes of that memory information. Uh, below again we have the single core score but now we also have the interior score and the floating point score N on the pro version it's 2142 and uh, on the normal it's 1211 so again almost uh, uh, twice more points mm, on the pro version uh, and the floating point is almost 2000 uh, on the pro and uh, 1035 on the normal so again almost uh, twice more mm, on the pro version so it's definitely on the winning position you know again we can see some more information you can take a look and read everything for yourself okay now i will scroll down now we have the multi-core performance and once more the integer score and the floating point score Mm, the integer score is 6210 and a floating point is 6500 in comparison into the uh, 3049 3, and 3352. So and all of that uh, scores, those points, the uh, pro version has uh, 2x of them, twice more. Okay, and below again we have some information, you can take a look. Okay. Now I'll go back and now we're gonna run the GPU benchmark. Mm. Uh, in here we can see uh, what uh, GPU we have on those uh, devices, also the resolution and the display uh, PPI. Now let's simply run the GPU benchmark and just like in the previous case I'm gonna see you once uh, we have our results uh, results because it's gonna take a little bit so be patient and I'll see you once we have those results. Okay and now as you can see we have our results and in here we have the biggest difference 
Uh, so the GPU OpenCL score on the Pro version is uh, 12,887 points, almost 13,000. Uh, uh, when on the normal version we have uh, almost th three and a half a thousand points, so uh, it's like uh, one fourth of uh, this of this level. So <laughs> it's the biggest difference. Uh, like 9000 hmm. and below again we have the uh, memo information uh, but uh, let me now show you the open seal information because uh, the rest of the information is the same like it was when I was showing you the CPU mm -hmm. results so in here we can take a look and uh, we have the difference in the uh, compute units for example in here we have the six in here we have two and also uh, in the device memory we have the difference and now the OpenCL performance we can take a look at those values all right and uh, so that when it comes to the uh, tests on the uh, Geekbench 6 uh, let me only close uh, the apps and now let's open the 3d mark and uh, in here we're gonna again uh, perform the uh, GPU benchmark in here we have a lot uh, of tests uh, but we're gonna use the recommended one, it's the uh, wildlife, it is, uh, that's the way it is called. Mm, let me first uh, also uh, download it. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you once it's downloaded and then we're gonna run the test. Okay, it uh, has downloaded and now I'm gonna rotate the phones. Mm, because the test will be in that, in that orientation. Uh, it's gonna take one minute, so I'm not gonna uh, mm, uh, skip it. Uh, so now let's run the test uh, and let's observe, and then we will take a look at the results. All right, we are after the test. Uh, now let me rotate the phone uh, into the previous option, into the stage, how we, how we started, okay. Uh, so um, on the pro version, as you can see, the overall score has been maxed out. Uh, and the next thing is, uh, that on the normal version the overall score is uh, almost uh, five and a half thousand and uh, the average frame rate on the uh, 400 is uh, 32 and a half uh, while on the pro version it has been maxed out mm, uh, below when you take a look at the performance monitoring uh, on the pro version uh, the battery uh, didn't drop down same thing on the Mm, on the honor and the temperature was uh, on the uh, level of 36 to 37 and in here was 35 to 35 if uh, the frame rate on the pro version uh, was 62 fps as a minimum value and the maximum was 127 fps uh, while on the normal, normal version uh, it was 22 fps to 42 and below you can also see the a chart of the battery and the frame rate so we can take uh, a look 
Okay, so we can say that the pro version did the job definitely better. Alright, that's all in this video. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. Thank you.